Hey everyone, welcome to George's Library. My name is George and today I want to talk about The Last Apprentice, Clash of the Demons by Joseph Delaney. In Clash of the Demons, the sixth book in The Last Apprentice series, I would expect more of the same. We have scary creatures, dark magic, dangerous quests, captures and rescues, Tom's insecurities, questions about whether Alice is good or bad, the spook pointing out that they can't do any compromises with the dark, foreshadowing of war, etc. The big difference, I suppose, is the setting and the tone of the novel. The main quest is to accompany Tom's mother to Greece, where they will fight an ancient witch called the Ordeen, who threatens a group of monks who for years have held her at bay and protected the world from her evil. The monks are growing old, and now they need some powerful help. They may be able to destroy the Ordeen once and for all if Tom's mother unites the witches and the spooks to fight against her. And this presents several problems for Tom. First is that the spook, Tom's apprentice, refuses to work with any witches and will release Tom from his apprenticeship if Tom goes with them to Greece. The second is that Tom realizes that he doesn't know his mom as well as he thought he does. And he's not sure what her intentions are towards him. Is it possible that when she told him he'd save the world, it, it would mean for him to be a sacrifice? And what is his mother anyway? She is probably not human, and, and if she is not human, then what is Tom? All these questions will be answered in this novel. And with it concludes the overall arc of Tom's mom's story, which seemed to be the backbone of the last three books in the series. I think most fans of the series will not be disappointed with this one. As I said, sure, it's repetitive, but it is exactly what we've come to expect. It can be frightening, quite gory in some parts. There are a couple of sad deaths. And there are ethical dilemmas for Tom and the spook. Should the good guys use dark magic? to fight the dark, if that's the only way to defeat it? If they do, do they risk their own souls? Since Alice has an evil family, does that mean she's destined to be evil? Is there a god who is good? What happens after we die? These are all interesting and important questions. The only problem is that these questions and dilemmas appear in all the last apprentice books so far. Still, the overarching plot moves forward by a fraction, and Tom learns about his mother, about Alice, and their potential role in their fight against the dark. In this installment, we also learn a little bit about Greek mythology, and more about occult beliefs and practices. All in all, it's still an enjoyable series. Okay, thanks for listening. Don't forget to share and subscribe, stay safe, be kind, and keep on reading. I'll see you next time.